Hi guys, this is Sushant Kochar. Today we are going to talk about if uh, it is possible to lose weight without exercise. Can we lose weight without exercise? The answer is yes. But I would not recommend doing so. Okay, first of all, uh, how can we lose weight without this exercise? How is the answer yes? See, uh, as long as you are burning more calories than you are eating, you are going to be losing weight. Uh, that is what calorie deficit is. Uh, so if you don't know what calorie deficit is, please check in my previous videos. Uh, you can search in my previous videos. It is not possible to talk about everything in, in detail in every video uh, because the video's length uh, starts to become too long. So if I've talked about something in the previous videos, you will have to go check the previous videos out. Not everything can be talked about in every single video. So if you are in calorie deficit, you're going to lose weight. So basically if you're burning more calories than you're eating, which is what calorie deficit is. So let's say you're burning 1600 calories and you're eating 1400 calories. So you are in a deficit of 200 calories. 800 calories is around 100 grams. 200 calories is around 25 grams. So you are going to be losing around 25 grams of weight per day. Okay. And okay, if we can lose weight without exercise, why are you saying that it is not recommended? because of the following reasons first of all your body is a machine is like a machine you should keep it running otherwise is it would catch rust uh, it would get so basically uh, if it is a machine it should keep running but at the same time if you have a motor and you keep running it uh, all the time if you overuse it then uh, the motor is going to burst kind of uh, so you can imagine it that way. So if you overuse your uh, body, if you overtrain your body, if you over exercise, you can harm your body. So for example, people lift two to three hours in the gym thinking that they would lose weight uh, quickly or they'll gain a lot of muscle easily or they keep running on the treadmill and keep cycling for two to three hours. So they do not need to do, they do not need to put in that much effort. Uh, it can be harmful for their body. So excess of everything is bad. Now, some sort of exercise is always advisable. Be it go to gym and do weight training, training with weights, running, walking, cycling. You can see if you want to swim, yoga, pranayams, at least something. Okay. Uh, preferably something which has more of the body movements. I think pranayam does not involve a lot of body movements. Yoga does, uh, but you you want to definitely do something. Now, the second point is you have more scope of uh, nutrition. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, so if you're exercising, you're burning off more calories. If you're burning more calories, you, you are going to be more hungry. Your hunger is going to increase. So you can eat more. It does not mean that you can eat too much, but you can eat somewhat more. We will understand this with an example. So if your BMR is 1600 calories, uh, you are a male. Uh, the females can um, take the example uh, for their BMR. If you are a male and your BMR is 1600 calories and your maintenance comes out to be 1920 calories multiplying it uh, 1600 by 1.2 when you are doing nothing but mostly going to office, sitting on the desk, doing your work, coming back to home and on the weekends, Saturday, Sunday you are going with your friends in car or uh, motorcycle or metro. So you are not doing much of the physical work. So your maintenance comes out to be 90 minutes. On the other hand, if you are working out four to five days a week, like uh, half an hour to 45 minutes of decent uh, intensity exercise, then your maintenance comes out to be 2480 multiplying 1600 by 1.5. If you don't understand how I got these numbers, uh, go check my videos out on maintenance calories. This one would be from how to calculate maintenance calories. Now. Uh, so these two maintenance uh, calories have a difference of 560 calories okay so let's say this guy decides to lose around 2 to 2.25 kilograms of weight in one month he's okay with it so uh, if you lose 70 grams of weight per day uh, and the month is of 30 days then you would lose 2.25 kilograms of weight for that that month so that is 75 grams per day is uh, around 16, 600 calories uh, per day. So you want to be in a calorie deficit of 600 calories per day. So in the first case when he's doing nothing but going to the office, coming back, eating and sleeping, 
uh, he would eat 1320 calories. In the second case, when he is exercising, he would be eating 1880 calories. Both of these uh, have a gap of 560 calories. If you want to get an estimate of what 560 calories means, that is around 4 to 5 chapatis with ghee, with 1 teaspoon ghee weighing 3 grams of ghee. Uh, 4 to 5 chapatis, medium sized chapatis, that is what 560, gram, uh, 560 calories are. So you do not want to miss it. And along with those calories, what you get uh, is protein, carbohydrates and fats and vitamins and minerals and antioxidants to meet your requirement, uh, nutrition requirement for the day. So basically, you have more scope of getting nutrition in. Okay. And another thing that uh, is there is that if you eat more, still losing the same amount of weight, if you eat more, you will feel psychologically better because you have more food to eat. Secondly, you would feel more fuller, you will feel fuller and you will be a bit more energetic. You can feel a bit more energetic. Okay. And if you're not exercising and you're eating too less, for example, in this case, his BMR is 1600 and he's eating 1320 in case he's not exercising. Then you can experience muscle loss because you are eating too less. When you eat too less, your body wants to, what your body tries to do is uh, conserve energy and in that process it uh, sometimes burn the muscle uh, along with fat. So you might lose muscle, so you do not want to risk your muscle uh, by eating too less. So it's, it is highly advisable that you do some sort of exercise, increase your maintenance calories and then uh, lose weight so that you can eat more. Now every exercise can have its own unique benefit for your body. But exercises like weight training where you lift weights in the gym or at your home can have a benefit where you lose fat along with gaining muscle. So you might uh, experience muscle gain along with fat loss when you are weight training. So that sort of benefit can also come when you uh, train with weights. You can experience muscle gain along with fat loss. So this was uh, something that I wanted to tell people that you do not need to exercise to lose weight but it is highly recommended that you exercise for these reasons. So that your body keeps going, you uh, get uh, to eat more, uh, you get to get more nutrition, you can uh, you avoid the risk of having muscle loss and you can probably gain muscle along with your fat loss. So if you like the video, please like, comment and share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.